Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class. Alita One. Yes, I finally have Alita One in my collection. I've been wanting to have this character for a very long time. And I'm so stoked to add her to the Transformers collection. Because she is Optimus Prime's sweetheart. And you never go wrong with getting Optimus Prime's beloved girlfriend, Alita One. As you know, they weren't always Optimus and Alita One. In the G1 continuity... Optimus was known as Orion Pax, and Alita was known as Ariel. Which is nice that they had a past relationship, and then when they got upgraded, they're still a couple to this day. It was a shame when they killed off Alita 1 in the uh, Netflix Transformers series. That was a letdown for the fans. She could have kept going on. It was cool when, she brought her, when they brought her back from Earth Spark. I love that. I never got the Netflix one, which was a shame, but I got this one because it was a different mold than that one. It was a remold of RC, which I already own. And now it's been a minute. Let's look at the box. Nice artwork on the box of Alita One, and she's crying out, Autobots attack. And look at her head sculpt and the paint and all that artwork looks amazing. Oh man, it shows you all the figures in the line. Oh, there's Rodimus, there's RC from Prime, there's Blaster, which I want to get Blaster, and whoever that is, it'd be good to find out who that is. Oh, wait, it's Bulkhead. I'd love to get Bulkhead. But other than that, look at the back of the box. You can see her in her robot mode and her car mode, which, which looks pretty amazing. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. And now we're going to lower our tripod. And you're probably wondering, does Alita 1 roll? Yes, she does. Look at her roll. But now, before we transform her, we're going to compare her next to her sweetheart, Optimus Prime. And this is the Machine Wars Optimus. I didn't want to transform the Earthrise Optimus into this vehicle mode. This was a simpler Optimus to transform, so that's why I'm doing it. But now that we've talked about the figure. Let's get down to transformation. I'm gonna unpeg her blasters. Her Energon blasters. And work on that body. First, we're gonna start on is the arms. If I, The legs are easy once you get them accordioned like so. Like in a, folding them down, I mean accordion. Like getting them all connected and pegged in. Now we can free up her arms, and we're going to disconnect this from the cab, like so, if I can get it to work. There we go. And now we're going to fold the backpack down, like so, and see if we can get those. Oh, I popped it out of the socket. <laughs> Not my intention, though, but it does make it easier to transform. I guess it made it easier for me to transform it when it popped out of the socket. Gonna fold this down to form our, not RC, but Alita One's backpack, and we're gonna reconnect this right there. Come on, connect. Uh, stop fighting me here. Have a little bit of fighting trouble with this today. I'm gonna have to just pull this up and then push it in. There we go. Now we can work on our backpack a bit. And then we got our backpack mostly done. Flip that down. Rotate our arms. And we're going to fold this panel in to cover up the gap in her leg. And second verse is like the first. Rotate. And then you get to see her slimming robot mode legs. And look at that. She looks amazing. Like she just came out of the G1 cartoon. This ain't show accurate with the backpack, but I do love it for that. 
looking all G1 with the head sculpt and the body. I'm definitely glad to add this to my collection. It is amazing. It looks awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to adding her next to Optimus Prime. But before we get down to comparisons, let's get her wheeled in her guns. Her Energon guns, as I call them. Because she's ready to do some blasting, some Decepticons with those. Look at that. And she can dual wield and go pew, pew, bang, bang. Or you can combine them with her and give her eat double blaster Decepticon. Pew. And man, that is a lot of fun to do. I will admit. But this is probably how I'm going to display her. But now that we've got done to showing down the blasters, let's transform Optimus Prime to do a comparison with Alita 1 on camera. Flip out the head with Machine Wars Optimus, rotate the legs, rotate this, and split the legs, flip out the hands like so, and then put the arm down, and give him his classic G1 blaster, and he's ready to go blast some Decepticons with his girlfriend Alita 1. It's good to have you here at long last, Alita, my love. It's good to be with you after all this time, Optimus Prime. And yes, I'm looking forward to seeing these two in Transformers Movie 1. And I'm definitely glad to add this couple Autobots to my collection. Optimus Prime will have Alita 1 to keep him company on the shelf. Like the G1 days, and she'll look amazing right next to all my other... Transformers Season 2 figures. Because, yeah, Alita 1 was in Season 2, but I think it's a cute couple relationship when she's with Optimus Prime. And I will look forward to displaying her today. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, Please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.